So chances are you have a lot of students in your district that have created a ton of great work and they've saved it in their Google Drive. Well, what do we do when those students graduate or move to a new school district? How do they take their Google Drive files with them? What about school employees? When they retire or if they take a job in a different district, how do they take their Google Drive files with them? Well, in this video, we're going to take a look at a tool called Google Takeout. It's a super easy way for you to transfer or download your Google content. Hi everybody, I am Ryan Horn. I am the Instructional Technology Coach here in Howell Schools. You can follow my blog for tech tips like these and more at ryanstechtips.com. So let's get into it. Let's talk about how Google Takeout works. You have a couple choices with Google Takeout. One, you can choose to download all of your Google data um, and create an archive where you can save that information on your computer and it will download all of your Google Drive files and convert them to Microsoft Office files. So if it was a Google Doc, it would convert it to Microsoft Word. If it was Google Slides, it would get converted to Microsoft PowerPoint and so on. And there's another option as well, and that's to simply transfer all of your Google Drive files and folders to a different Google account. And that's what I'd like to demonstrate first, how to simply transfer your Google Drive content from one Google account to another. Let's take a look at how that works. Step one, in your browser, you're need, going to need to visit takeout.google.com. That's the web address we're going to, takeout.google.com. So in a new tab, I'm going to go to takeout.google.com. And the first thing that happens is you're going to see this screen. Well, you're going to need to look for the personal info and privacy section. And under personal info and privacy, you'll find control your content. So I'm going to click control your content. Now these are our two choices, download your data by creating an archive. First I want to take a look at this option, transfer your content. So we're going to transfer our Google Drive files from one Google account to another. Let's click start transfer. So the first step when you start a transfer is to simply enter in the destination account. What is that address of the Google account you'd like to transfer it to? And yes, it does have to be a Google account. So I'm going to transfer this account to my applej at howellschools.com. And then I'm going to click send code, send code. It's going to actually send a verification code or a confirmation code to this address. So now I need to switch over to my applej account and check my email. Here we go. I have a verify your account message from Google and I need to get this confirmation code. So I'm going to click and get this confirmation code and I'm going to copy this and I'm going to now switch back over to my transfer your content page and I'm going to paste that confirmation code here and verify. So now the computer is confirming. I would like to transfer all of my Google Drive files from this account to my John Appleseed account. That is correct. I have couple choices down here. I do not want to at this time for this purpose demonstration. I'm going to toggle off transferring my Gmail. I only want to transfer my Google Drive. These are files that I own. If someone's shared files with me and shared with me, I'm going to have to add them to my drive. Otherwise, they're not going to come over. So now I'm going to click Start Transfer. Now I get this message that I'm all set. I do need to be patient because depending on how many files you have in your Google Drive, that will depend on how long this transfer process takes. Um, sometimes it only takes five minutes. Um, I've seen it take up to maybe even a few days depending on how much info there is in that drive. So what we're going to do next is we're going to take a look at what it looks like when this process is done. So now let's switch over to the Apple J account and see if there's anything new in Google Drive. Here we are in our Apple J account. Ah, here we go. Take a look. We have a new folder here called edtech at howellschools.com with the date and the time that the transfer was started. And all of the Google files are in here. So when you open that up, you will have a copy of those Google Drive files. Those are not shared files. Simply created a copy of that point in time, what those files are. So that's how easy it is to use the transfer option with Google Takeout. So we covered transfer. That's probably my favorite way to move files, um, drive files 
from one account to another. It's real quick and real easy. But now I wanted to show you how to download files and create an archive uh, from your Google data. So let's take a look at how to create an archive. When you go to takeout.google.com, this is the download your data choice. It's called create an archive. So I'm going to click create an archive and now you see this is different than when we did the transfer because there are a ton of choices here. Transferring led us to all of Drive or none of Drive, all of Gmail or none of Gmail. And this, when you create an archive, you can toggle on and off. I think there's 17 Google products here. And not only that, let's go to Drive. I'm going to leave that on. In fact, I'm going to get rid of everything but Google Drive. But I did want to show you this. So we're going to toggle all of these off, except for Drive. When I click the drop down arrow here, by default it's going to include all files and folders in Drive, but you can choose this to select certain files. So let's say that you're working with a teacher who's retiring and you say, you know what, I only want to grab these two folders from you. So we're just going to share those two folders. So you can select as many folders as you want. It's pretty nice, or you can select them all. And that's a feature in archives and that will download them. So once you have your options that you'd like, I'm going to scroll down to the bottom and press next. Now we're going to leave it as for this example, um, a zip file. I'm going to leave my archive size at two gigs and I'm going to have it send me an email to tell me when it's done. Or you can simply add the zip folder to drive, Dropbox or OneDrive. Well, I'm going to demonstrate the email message method, excuse me. So I'm going to press create archive and it's letting me know when that's going to be done. So it's currently being prepared and what I'm going to do is show you what this looks like when it's all done. Well, it looks like this has changed. Let's check our email. Yep, we have a message from Google. It says my data archive is ready. So I'm going to go ahead and download that archive. It's going to ask me to confirm my Google password. And I'm going to open up this zip folder. I'm going to show in folder so I can ex extract all of this. And then let's take a look at what's in here. Here is a folder called takeout. And when you open it up, since I only had Google Drive was the only thing I wanted to archive, it's here. And when I open that up, here is my content. And when you open it up, you'll notice that inside the folders, instead of having the Google Slides or Google Docs, it's converted it to Microsoft products. So here's a PowerPoint. It's backed up for me this way. That is how you create an archive. So once again, we went over how to transfer your content from one account to another or how to download your Google data to your computer using Google Takeout at takeout.google.com. Again, I'm Ryan Horn, and you can follow me at ryanstechtips.com for videos and tech tips like these and more. Have a good day.